All right, so I'm feeling a little bit stressed today, so I'm going to take a little bit of a break from what I'm working on over there and show you guys how I get the most value out of books that I read. So, first thing I do, first step, is the reading part. So, find a book you want. I use these... Um, 3M, Optim, 98, Peltor. They're almost like earplugs for your ears, but instead of having to twist something and put it in your ear, you just simply just like put this around your ear and it works like better than earplugs for me. Um, and, and it's really fast to use. So I just pop these on, get my book, and I use this book gem to hold the pages because one of the most obnoxious things about having to read is holding open the book. So like we've got stumbling on happiness here. If I, was, if I had to read and I had to just constantly hold it, it's like taxing on your arms. You also can't put it in certain positions. You have to hold it up. It's like kind of obnoxious over time. And then if I wanted to take notes, then I have to like one hand to do this and then like it's just very impractical so got the book gem I have something to put it on you can just use a pillow um, I use a pen and I underline everything that I want to be in a big note file so anything that's of value to me I just underline and then when I'm finished reading, I go back, and this is, a, this is a book I read a while ago, and I'm just going to write the notes down of it. Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Waddles. It's like a very old school self-development book. This is from, I think this is from like 1913. Anyway, so as you can see, I had some underlines here. So this is underlined, or I'll just like make a loop around. If it's a big section, I'll just kind of like make a loop around there. And what I'm going to do is put my headphones on here, hit this little button here that records my voice, and I'm going to speak all the notes that I have. It's a lot faster than typing, um, and I can get through all the notes that I have in this book in probably like an hour. Also, the more active you are in learning something, the more you're going to remember it. So, for example, reading, you like have a complete focus when you're reading, so you retain more than if you were reading um, a Kindle that has like, access to the internet. You retain more than audiobooks, especially when there's like other noises or you're doing something. Um, but if you read from a book, and you read it out loud, that's when memory retention is actually the highest. So I'm going to read it, my notes from it. Um, once I'm done with my notes, I'm going to go through and pick out the action notes. So these, the notes from this book will probably be like five, ten pages. And then from there, I'll take out like the top ten ideas that can apply to my life the most. And yeah. And then there you go, you have like your most important valuable tips from the book. You have your notes of everything else that you think is important so you can quickly access it, search it uh, on your phone, on your computer. Uh, I'm using Google Docs here so I can use it, I can access it anywhere in the world with internet. Um, so yeah, that's how I get the most value out of the books that I read. Hope you learned something. I hope you will start reading. And with any habit, all you have to do is start small at first. Um, start small and then build your way up. Don't try to be a hero in the beginning. Don't try to read Ayn Rand's novels in one day. Start small, work your way up. When I first started reading after being out of school for a while and only like watching YouTube videos, um, took me about uh, like two, three minutes to get through one page. And at the end of that one page or two pages that I read, 
I'd feel like, oh fuck, this is really taxing. But over time you develop your focus and over time your reading ability gets better and the um, the amount of knowledge that you can kind of suck out of books gets better. Because a lot of the strategies like finding the little gold nuggets in whatever you're reading, not everything you read is going to apply to your life. Okay, so just find those parts that do, find the parts that are most valuable, take notes on it, pull out the most valuable notes from there uh, for action taking purposes, like what can you apply and, and when can you apply it and how. And yeah, so hope you enjoyed.